and hypen sweet venom. Oh, cool. Dude, what a cool freaking concept. So the last time we watched and hype and we saw Bite Me, which was a phenomenal music video. I mean, it had great editing, a good story, and I personally really enjoyed it. So I'm excited to dive into this video, but I wanted to first say like the name of the video is Sweet Venom. So I'm trying to like think what the music video is going to be about basically. So when we think of Sweet Venom, it's basically like animals use venom on their prey and they immobilize them and it's like a means of defense basically. So I'm guessing like in this video, were the prey and, and Hyphen is about to inject us with that venom. The camera starts to zoom into them basically, or they just have like a dolly and they're just moving it forward like really, really slowly. And then they proceed to tilt it up and they have this really cool typography basically with sweet venom. That is so cool. I think that's like a glow they added on it an ecto, one of the two. Ecto is like, a, it's kind of hard to explain. It's like an, a, an effect where you can like manipulate like electric firing effects, uh, fire, different kinds of neon effects and you get this cool glow and it's used a lot. And then we have this so, this, dude, this is awesome. The bullet time effect again, are you kidding me? So basically all they have to do, it's really simple to film. They get a shot of everyone like standing completely still like a mannequin, basically. They move the camera and then for this stuff, this is VFX. So they have to add all the, um, the paper, the drink, they have to add that in. But the way they do that is they track the scene. It looks like it's actually in the scene, basically. It's not too hard to do, but it looks incredible. And it takes a lot of time because they have to put all those papers in 3D space and like move them and tilt them and it takes a, a lot of time especially color correcting it too but yeah that is a really clean effect they did this in g idols um queen card i'm pretty sure they did this in the queen card video i think it was that video or it was like uh spicy by espa it was in one of the k-pop videos but really clean effect clean transition i like that Dude, this would have taken so long to make. Oh my God, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I like that a lot. That's really clean. Dude, that, that is so freaking cool, actually. I really like that. Oh, good cut. We cut back to the first scene. They use the shirt and then we cut back to, I like that a lot. Ooh. I'm liking the dancing, but that was sick too. Let's go back for one second here. I like the outfits and everything. What is that? That is the, oh, cool. The editor messed up, look at the top right. Okay, so I know what they did. I know what they did, that's clean. What they were doing is basically, they have to rotoscope all the boys. Rotoscoping is like taking the subject, you isolate it. And then what they proceed to do is, it's it could be the footage like duplicated with a directional blur. Oh, that's hard. There's like an effect, I forgot the name of it. It's like, oh my God, it's like. There's an effect called light rays and after effects. So I think what they did was they took that light ray effect and basically they put it on top of the footage and I think they used a mask and like started pushing that mask forward or like moving the mask with the footage and moving it back more. I think that's what they did. There's a few ways they could have went about this, but you have to feather that kind of stuff so you don't get like the border on the outside. I like what they did though. Creative choreography too. Wait, 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 are we in the same scene again? That's interesting. I would have cut to a different scene, but there might've been a change. Okay, let's go back for a second. So this sign says nothing but, but then if we go back to the beginning, it says the same thing. That's interesting. They cut back to the same scene as before. I don't know if there's anything different. I'd have to compare the two side by side, but... Then they do that same transition.
That's interesting. I really like that effect that they use. It's, it's like a, it's always like for me, the subtle things, like the really, really clean, subtle things that they do. Like for example, the background is so blurry and it looks so clean. I just, I love the Gaussian blur, or not the Gaussian blur, the, uh, what do you call it? The low aperture. It's the small things about these K-pop videos that are just so clean. They have a shallow depth of field. They use a small aperture. Then they get that clean look with neon signs and, and a low aperture. It's one of the best looking things. I want a taste of that venom. This is good. <laughs> that, that, that effect, it's so clean. It's like so subtle. Now I'm curious, did the editor mess up on all of them? No, so that time he didn't. You see, you can see that there's no border on the outside. Like, dude, it's so hard to like not make a mistake in music videos because like the littlest thing sometimes can be so difficult to fix and you just will never know. I like that. Cut into a different camera. Ooh. Okay, this song is actually a banger. Let's go back. I gotta turn this shit up. You know what's really interesting to me too? It looks like a lot of these outfits are inspired by Michael Jackson. He really is still the king of pop. He always will be the king of pop. He was one of the most successful and influential entertainers in the history of popular music. I mean, he had the best selling album of all time, Thriller, and I'm pretty sure even today, it's still the best selling album. He was just iconic and like there never will be another Michael Jackson. I mean, I think we can all agree on that. I, I think they're influenced because yeah, look, the, the glitter jacket, the shoes, the dancing, and they pull it off really, really well. So I think that makes this video like 10 times better for me. I'm a huge Michael Jackson fan. He was kind of like my comfort with growing up. I love the dancing on, on and hyphen is so good with it. Damn. I like the B-roll they have, all these different shots, clean, using different cameras. And then they use, um, yeah, I really like what they're doing. They're using different like film techniques and it's really clean. So basically with this, you can see there's like little lines basically. And a lot of it's added in basically. All you have to do is take like a grid effect and then you have this big grid and then you can like shrink the lines, make them really, really tiny. And then you can add effects on top of that. Like, and then you can, you know, use blending modes on it and make it look really stylistic. He's retro vibe basically. And then you can also add on top like CC lens, which kind of like distorts the footage makes it more wide or the opposite vice versa freaking dude that looks so good i love that it's such a like a, a nice change from the cinematic to the more down-to-earth vibe really nice man i love these shots they are so clean they're just so it's so wholesome it's so human <laughs> Hmm. Oh, I love that. Oh, sorry to pause one more time. I think Bite Me had incredible editing, but I think this is more, it just feels more organized to me. If it has like a story to it, it it's really well done. And it, like Bite Me had a story too, but this one is really, really good. I think this is a huge improvement from the last one. Huge improvement. Okay, there's no way this is not Michael Jackson. My man did like a freaking moonwalk. It did like a little moonwalk right there. And the they're doing the Michael Jackson dance move. Guys, please leave a comment down below. Is this inspired by Michael Jackson? Because if it's not, I'm, bro, I'm gonna be so embarrassed. <laughs> it has to be though. Like it's, it's literally, it gives me the vibe of Michael, ja Michael Jackson, so. What a cool freaking video. Oh, 
Oish, that was awesome. I did want to say one thing. That effect is so cool, but they have to continuously do that. Oh, and they add like, if you look at the guys on the left, it looks like they add all these cool effects, like a turbulent displace to kind of warp the footage and it adds more movement to it. They added a lot of effects on that. And to do that, like they did that freaking effect like 20 times. That must've been a pain in the butt to make. Damn. Wow. Venom. Freaking slay, bitch. Damn. That was a good comeback. That was a good ass comeback. We were just injected with some fire ass venom. Let's go and hype in. Adding that red to my playlist right now. I literally forgot to mention, like, I forgot, I completely forgot to say this. You know how funny it must have been to, like, these people, they probably have to stay there for, like, 20 to 30 minutes just holding that position, like, every time. So they're, like, cut. When they say cut, then, you know, they can take breaks and things like that. But most of the time, this guy, I think he had the same look as the set, as the last video so he might have had to been there for like 20 minutes or they used a mask or something but i mean my man was listening to freaking and hyping whatever for a long time <laughs> that was just so funny this song is honestly an absolute bop so i will be adding this to my playlist and listening to it over and over we've been getting so many good k-pop videos lately drama by espa kill chill is it chill kill or chill kill? i always get the oh my god i'm so bad by um red velvet just all this great music and one more thing one more thing i have to tell you guys i got the vip tickets for ive so they're locked in i'll be getting videos and maybe i'll do a vlog or something if you want to see that let me know but thank you all for watching i'll see you in the next one love you all